welcome to the next lecture in electric circuit analysis we are in lecture 11th uh, we are going to discuss the three phase circuits and this lecture will be in uh, four parts so first let us see the introduction a single phase ac power system consists of a generator which is connected through a pair of wires or a transmission line to a load so if you see we will be having a single phase uh, system so the source will be single phase which is basically a generator so we have a generator as a single phase system and then we will be having the transmission line uh, through which the power will be transmitted and the power will be transmitted to the load so the load will always uh, be single phase here because the system is single phase and the source is the single phase system so the transmission lines are usually represented with the help of an inductor the ac generator which is designed to develop a single sinusoidal voltage for each rotation of the shaft or the rotor is referred to as single phase ac generator so since we have a single phase system the power which is generated is in single phase so the rotor or the shaft of the generator which is rotating to develop the power in single phase and hence the generator is known as the single phase ac generator now if the number of coils on the rotor side is increased in a specified manner the result is a polyphase ac generator which develops more than one ac phase voltage per rotation of the rotor so when we say single phase we will be having only one uh, sinusoidal voltage uh, one ac cycle now if you have polyphase generator polyphase may be three phase uh, five phase or multiple phases where more number of phases will be there for the ac voltage now generally the three phase system are most frequently used for the power transmission line so when we talk about a polyphase uh, system it is basically uh, analogous to three phase system because the three phase systems are more frequently used so what are polyphase system so if you talk about the single phase system single phase system may be a two wire type or a three wire type so the supply voltage which is represented in the form of a ac voltage with rms voltage and the phase angle phi so that is being transmitted through a transmission line and there is a load so this is a two wire system because one wire where the power is um, uh, going and another one the power is uh, coming or the current is uh, going from the source to the load and it is the returning circuit and these two wires form the two wire system now if equal voltages are connected in the three wire system so we will be having the three wires which will be transmitting from the source to the load in the form of two load system so this is a three wire type now coming to the two phase three wire system so if you have the three three wires here this is a three wire system now this is basically single phase so if you have the two phase then in that case the voltage magnitude of the two phases will be equal but that will be out of phase by 90 degree so if the voltages are out of phase by 90 degree then we can say that are two phase but here we can see the same voltage and same phase is there so it is a single phase system however the wires are three here also the wires are three but due to the phase difference of 90 degree the phase the system is known as two phase now coming to the polyphase system where we use most three phase system and here we have the four wire system that we are going to take so all the three voltages in the three phase system are basically out of phase with respect to one another at 120 degree here in two phase we have 90 degree phase difference in three phase system we have 120 degree phase difference and there is an additional wire of the neutral which is the fourth wire now what is the importance of the fourth wire is that we can have one phase system also where we need only one line wire and one phase wire then we can have single phase system now this is the picture of a three phase synchronous generator or the name 
other name is alternator so if you have a three phase synchronous generator which is the alternator you will be having the three wires or the terminal coming out and there will be a neutral wire also coming out so three phase system can be made to be a single phase system so here we can see in a three phase system we have three wires which are separated to each other with respect to 120 degree and hence you will be having a phase difference of 120 degree so generally in normal household system where a single phase three wire system is used because the terminal voltage have the same magnitude and the same phase so when the terminal voltage are having the same magnitude and same phase then although the wires are three but it will be a single phase system whereas the circuit or system in which the AC sources operated at the same frequency but different phases are known as polyphase system. So polyphase system will have the same frequency. It is not the frequency going to change. So the frequency will remain the same but there will be a change in the phase. So if the change in the phase that is the reason it is known as polyphase system. Now it can be from the source side also. It can be from the load side also. Now why uh, when we have the single phase system why we are moving to three phase system what are the advantages that we are going to see now if the electric power is uh, remaining constant now all the assumptions that we are going to do or all the comparisons that we are going to do is considering that the power which is being transmitted is uh, equal whether it is a single phase system or whether it is a three phase system now let us see from the generation side so in the generation side you will be having a three phase synchronous generator or an alternator so in this case when you prefer for a three phase system then the power to weight ratio will increase what does it suggest if the power to weight ratio increase then the size of the alternator will decrease compared to the single phase system of transmitting the same power so overall cost will decrease and the weight will also decrease because the size is decreasing now all these factor will lead to uh, for the transmit uh, transportation and installation will become convenient and less space will be required in the uh, generation end so we will be having multiple uh, three multiple three phase generators which are kept at the substation their space requirement will be less their cost will be less and weight also will be less now coming in terms of transmission and distribution the conductor material required will be less because the size is less hence it will be economical so there will be a heavy cost reduction when we go for three phase system now let us see what happened when we prefer three phase system over single phase system under the condition of unity power factor condition if we have the single phase supply then the power will be pulsating in nature so we will not get a continuous power in single phase system and we will have only pulsating power whereas if we have a three phase system then we will be having a constant power being uh, being um, obtained in the terminal because we have three phase and each phase will have its own voltage va vb and vc which are out of phase by 120 degree and these will give rise to power PA, PB and PC for each phases which will add up and it will give constant power in the terminal. So the power for the single phase is pulsating whereas three phase is constant. Now for the same condition of power to weight ratio if you take a three phase induction motor which is acting as a load and uh, for the transformer for both the cases you will see that when we talk about the alternator same condition prevails for the three phase induction motor as well as transformer also uh, since the industry is about 98 percent of the industry's load are three phase induction motor which are having the advantage of self starting in nature in in comparison to single phase which is not so some arrangements are required which increase the cost so as the load uh, when we talk about the load end three phase induction motors are self starting and they are mostly used uh, in the industries so three phase supply is required from the load end three phase motor is also having a better power factor compared to a single phase power so we require the power factor that is the value of cos phi to be more so that uh, our reactive power comes down and we have the better real power consumption so reliability is good under fault condition 
what is the meaning of that if you have a three phase uh, system and if there is a fault in one of the phases we have still the two phase available and that can be uh, used for the transmission of the power so reliability is better under fault condition so these are some of the advantages where the three phase system is preferable over single phase system now one other advantage is that the three phase system can feed a single phase load for example if you have a three lines and the load is single phase then we will connect one of the lines and the other line will be connected to the neutral end so this is line one line two line three and you have a neutral which will be connected to the single phase and then we can have a single phase load being delivered from a three phase system now this line can be connected to l1 or l2 or l3 any of the lines can be connected now what is the meaning of balanced three phase voltages let us see that so in a three phase generator which is the alternator where the power is being generated at the generating station it has two major components one is known as the stator and another is known as the rotor so in the stator you will be having the magnetic field carrying current wires whereas the rotor which is rotating in nature will be having production of the ac power which is pulsating and then in the terminal we will getting a constant power so the three phase voltages van vbn and vcn so we have the voltages vn vbn and vcn these three voltages are being produced by the three wires which are 120 degrees separated from each other now why the term n is used n means neutral wire so when we talk about the two quantities one is known as the phase and another is line so we are talking about the phase quantity where the voltage of line a with respect to neutral voltage of line b with respect to neutral and voltage of line c with respect to neutral so three phase voltages are produced by the alternator having coils with terminals given as a a dash so you have a terminal a here and you will be having a terminal a dash in the stator end similarly b b dash and c c dash which are physically placed at 120 degree apart so the wires will be physically placed at 120 degree apart now this rotor of the alternator is rotating which is produced which is cutting the magnetic flux lines from the three coils and then the voltage is induced in the coil so this is the principal or working of the alternator the induced voltage are equal in magnitude so we can see that the magnitude of the induced voltage are equal but out of phase by 180 degree so here you will be having the phase difference of 120 degree so balanced phase voltages are equal in magnitude and out of phase with each other by 120 degree so all the voltages if you see if you take the van to be the reference phase so it will be at zero degree and the other phase voltage that is vbn and vcn will have a phase difference of 120 degree with respect to each other so it will have a phase difference of 120 degree but the magnitude will remain the same and hence it is known as a balanced phase voltages so three phase systems are identical to three single phase circuit so if you have a single phase circuit three circuits if you combine then it will become a three phase system so three phase system can be connected in two different ways one is known as the star connected system and another is known as the delta connected system so in the star connected system you will be having all the three voltages v b n v a n v b n and c n connected in the form of star so you will have one phase here other phase here and third phase here it is connected in the form of a star and the terminals will be coming out from the three ends in the delta connected system your three phases will be in the connected in the three uh, phase lines and then it will form a closed delta and the terminals will be coming out so this diagram shows the delta connected system this diagram shows the star connected system so voltage source can be connected either in the star or in the delta system now we introduce some term one term is known as the phase voltage so when we talk about the phase voltage we have three phase va vb and vc these phase a when measured with respect to neutral wire then it is known as the phase voltage so van vb and vcn the three uh, 
phase voltages are there for a three phase system. Now we see that the sum of the three phase voltage Vn, Vvn, Vcn, if we add then that will be equal to zero when the system is balanced. It means the magnitude of Vn, Vvn, Vcn are equal when they will be at 120 degree out of phase with each other. So the magnitude Vp, we can take the RMS voltage for all the three phases will be equal and it will be out of phase with 120 degree. So one we have zero degree that is the reference phase then we have minus 120 degree and minus 240 degree which can be written as plus 120 degree. So these connection that is A, B and C the three wires can be connected in two different uh, two different ways. One is ABC uh, fasten or ACB fasten. So if you have ABC fasten that is known as the positive sequence and it is occurring when the rotor is rotating in the counterclockwise or anticlockwise direction. If the rotor is rotating in anticlockwise direction, you will be having ABC phase sequence which is known as positive sequence. On the other hand, if you have the ACB phase sequence which is known as the negative sequence, the rotor will be rotating in the clockwise direction. So depending upon the rotation of the rotor, the sequence of the voltages will be given that is 0 degree, minus 120 degree and plus 120 degree. So sometimes we, it can be ABC phase sequence which is the positive sequence and you can have ACB sequence then it will be 0, minus 120 degree and plus 120 degree. So those are represented with this uh, uh, phase sequence diagram where you have the three phases represented with VAN, VBN, VCN and they are uh, with respect to one other 120 degree phase difference is there and how the rotor is rotating that will determine the phase sequence. So if you add VAN, VBN, VCN it has to be 0. The reason is that you will be having a phase difference of 120 degree which will add together to form a 0 for all the phase voltage. So the phase sequence definition is the time order in which the voltage pass through their respective maximum values. So how these A, B and C voltages are passing through their maximum values that will determine the phase sequence. Now we discuss the balanced source, let us discuss the balanced loads. So if the load is balanced in which you have the phase impedances are equal. So all the three phase impedances should be equal both in terms of the magnitude as well as in terms of the phase. So here you can see the connection can be in the form of a star or a delta. So thus as we define the source, same way we define the load also. Here uh, the three phase impedances Z1, Z2 and Z3 will have equal magnitude as well as equal phase. In the source side we have a phase difference of 120 degree but here the phase will be equal whether it is a connected in the form of a star or it is connected in the form of a delta. Then for a balanced load system you will be having the impedances which will be equal for whether it is a star connected system or whether it is a delta connected system and we have studied the star to delta transformation. So when the impedance connected in delta has to be converted to star we get Z delta is equal to 3 times Z star or other hand we can say that impedance connected in the star fashion is 1 by 3 times the Z delta. So we can apply the star to delta transformation which we have studied earlier. Here if the load is balanced which is having the equal magnitude as well as equal phase. Now the various possibilities of connection of the source load. So we have the source and we have the load. So this is for a three phase system we are talking. So this source can be and load connection can be in the form of a star star connection where star correspond to this source and the star correspond to this load. Then you have star delta system, delta star system and delta delta system. So four type of connection can be possible when we connect the source to load three phase system. Let us take one example to understand the phase sequence. So the problem is determine the phase sequence of the set of a voltages. So three voltages are given to us. These three voltages are phase voltage because it is with respect to neutral. Now here we see that magnitude 200 is same for all the phases because it will be represented in the form of Vm cos of omega t 
plus 5. Any voltage will be represented in this form. So they are the instantaneous voltage. So the magnitude remain the same. So it is a balanced system and there is a change in the phases whereas the frequency omega remains the same. So we convert these instantaneous quantities into the phasor format then we will be having VAN, VBN, VCN represented in the form of 200 that is a magnitude and angle 10 degree, 200 minus 230 degree and 200 minus 110 degree. So we compare these phases and then we decide what is the phase sequence. So what we note that VAN is leading the VCN that is here you have 10 degree and here you have minus 110 degree. So VAN leading the VCN by 120 degree whereas VCN comparison with respect to VBN is basically uh, turning leading by 120 degree. So it is the phase sequence A will be the reference phase okay because the A is leading the C and then you will be having the C and then the B. So you will be having A, C, B sequence for this set of voltages. Now it is very essential to determine the phase sequence because this will determine the other parameters depending upon the phases. Now in the next uh, uh, part of this lecture three phase circuits we are going to discuss the different connections that is star 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 delta, delta star and delta delta connection for the three phase system. Thank you.